What's good with the YouTube? Y'all already know Big Flocker with a comics perspective, and I'm gonna smash, dash, slide on through with a little bit of energy. Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support this channel, and hit that bell notification for future fire content. So, as you already know, man, 2024, I'm kicking it off. The first couple videos I want to do, viewer's choice. And here we are again, the Gunner and Dubs breakup. Not really a video I really wanted to plan on doing, and I'm not going to try to open up uh, no can of worms. I'm not really going to try to take any shots, but let's just look at it from uh, a convict's perspective. Now, the breakup with uh, Gunner and Dubs did not surprise me. If you look back to April and May, some of the main channels that supported them had walked away. Some of them were exposing stuff. Every which way, you know, Gunner was going, he was getting hit. He was making mistakes. He didn't cover his ass. And he didn't he didn't secure himself from those that are going to have an axe to grind for the things that he did. There was people he had done things to that people knew. But it was only a matter of time to where it all got revealed. And once it got revealed, it was endless for a time period. Okay, now that affected their channels. They were forced into doing members only lives. You know, uh, there was a lot of questions. There was a lot of stage stuff. And there was a lot of fucking criticism, you know, because I don't think that anybody was prepared for the amount of stuff that was thrown directly towards Gunner at that time. Okay. So what are you supposed to do for your dubs? Dubs got a lot of support. And his channel grew tremendously. Once him and Gunner were doing lives together and they were tapping in with each other. There was a point to where people were looking at them like as the, the face of, of Rasa on, on YouTube. And that eventually changed as stuff started to get revealed. You know, I think people bit off more than they could chew and represent. And I think people, if they kept it real, they should have known that this was eventually going to all come out. Now, Dubster at that point had never really put himself in a position to... Uh, have conflict or beef with anybody. And then slowly you started seeing things that were occurring, you know, when they were drinking online and partying, having a good time. And a lot of things were kind of rubbing off on does a little bit. His character started to come out to where before he was always disciplined to where he wouldn't get out of character. Okay. He basically came out of his comfort zone. Now, some of the choices were probably not his best choices. And I think he's alluded to that. And, you know, we've all done that. So I don't fault him for that. I think it came to the time period when he started to see how, his association with Gunner was going to affect him in the long run. And I think Gunner probably thought the same thing. I'm not sure. Because eventually they both just split up pretty much. They weren't tapping in. There would be videos made, right, about what was going on. But, you know, we all know the game. That's just to generate views, topic, and let you guys think about what's going on with them. You know, because sometimes there was some clickbait. And, you know, that, like I said, that's strategic. That's what all of us YouTubers do from time to time. See, YouTube is a business. There ain't no real friends on there, okay? Let's look at it from this standpoint. Are you going to pick loyalty, right, to the one that helped you out or was there for you or helped you, benefit you, whatever, right? But when that time comes, when that same person who helped you is now going to be the, the thorn in your side, what are you supposed to do? It's a business. You have to um, pretty much in a respectful, civil way, detach yourself from that person. And that's what pretty much happened, man. Um, I think it was better for both of them. You know, Gunner's just doing his own thing. He already gets attacked, but he already has the supporters that are going to rock with him no matter what. And Dubs has been able to kind of save face and get away from some of the BS and the questions that were being always directed at him about Gunner. You know, I don't know if uh, Dubs was kind of naive the stuff that Gunner was doing or if uh, he was blind to it or just didn't want to accept it. You know, there comes a time when, you know, someone you rock with, you start to hear things. You don't want to hear it. You try to deflect it. You try to ignore it because it's not the person that you know. And that's what I got from talking to Dez before, you know, because he doesn't know all the ins and outs and all the things that were going on that, you know, one individual was responsible for. Now, don't get me wrong. Gunner was the only one that was involved in a lot of shit. There was a whole crew of individuals that were, that if the truth was out there, hmm, doesn't look good, man. Like I said, some people are just holding face for the meantime. 
where there's smoke, there's usually a fire. And that's pretty much what was going on at that time, man. They were getting so much heat, so much attention. It started not to even help their channel. You know, and I think Dills made the right move. He had to break away. You know, um, you know, Gunner's done whatever he's done to, to uh, you know, revamp his channel and move forward. And, you know, I think it's best for him just to continue doing whatever he's doing, man. You know? Um because if you get back into those same antics, those tactics, it all gets found out, man. Look what happened, you know, with all the stuff that he was trying to do to, you know, do damage control. It all backfired, you know what I'm saying? Because there was a time that people said enough's enough. And, you know, when you have your own people turning on you, that puts you in a fucked up position knowing the things that you know. You know, I don't really have much to add really to this too much because it's like this, right? I already said my piece about six months ago regarding Gunner. I don't want it to be an ongoing thing and you know, I'm not even here to attack him. He could just do what he does. That's that's where we leave it, you know? As far as dubs, I think Dubs' content has got a lot better since he stepped away from uh Gunner and he's been able to focus on what he wants to do with his channel, the topics he wants to do. And uh getting back to the content he was doing beforehand. You know, it's all good money in the beginning, right? When you're doing the lives and you're getting support and, you know, but there comes a, there comes a cost with that, man. And a lot of that was drama. A lot of that was attacks. A lot of that was being associated with something that maybe you don't want to be associated with. You're only as solid as you can make others believe. And that's the truth about YouTube. You're only solid as you can make those believe. And if you got someone that drags you down or you're dragging that person down, Sometimes there comes a time where you guys cut ties and move forward. And that's kind of what happened with this whole situation, man. You know, Dubs is all based upon energy. He doesn't like negative energy. And that's what came his way. You know, I'm sure that he would have liked to have continued his, you know, YouTube relationship with Gunner. Um, but there was too many uh, factors that were not going to let that happen. It was going to be a constant thing of attacks and attacks and attacks, trolling and trolling. I know I've been there, you know. The same people that Gunner had <laughs> trolling, in, trolling other people and going in on other people were now going in on him. And it ain't no joke, as you guys all know. It all starts with this, that, and it just starts to expand, man. I could be wrong. I'm going to go off an assumption. I really think that Gunner was the one that said, hey, man, break off from me. It's affecting your channel. You know, um, it seemed like they had, had, had a... Um, a more solid friendship as opposed to the other ones. The other ones that they were all about, you know, the cutthroat tactics behind the scenes of fucking let's go after this dude, let's fucking expose this, let's put this person on blast. I don't think he had that type of relationship with dubs as they were going forward. But I think a lot of stuff started to come out. And um, I think dubs, you know, seen it. I think he did the best to try to uh, deflect it. But you can only deflect so much. You know, I think Gunner already knew that he was only going to drag Dubs down and that it was up to him to fucking get his channel back on track to where he wanted it to be. And I think this is a prime example. Never let things get personal on YouTube to where you get out of character. You decide to do everything within your reach and capability to try to destroy someone or to get people to fucking back your play on it. Because that's exactly what happened, as we already know. You know what I'm saying? Certain individuals bet were, were back in his play against someone. You guys already know who that was. And uh, that person wasn't going to back down from nobody. And when the shit just came back twice as hard, right? He had to back up. <laughs> leaving everybody else out fucking out there to fucking fend for themselves. And that's exactly what happened, man. So I never try to let things get too personal, even though it does get personal. But I still never tried to let my fucking actions be that of fucking a deviant one. You know, I'm not going to sit there and spin a narrative or lie about someone just because I have a personal issue or gripe with that individual. When you make it too personal, you're going to fuck up and you're going to leave trails. And if you do that towards someone unjustly and it affects them, you think they're going to fucking let that be? Fuck no. You know what I'm saying? That's why he's in the situation he's in today. You know, Dez was able to get what he could out of Gunner and then move forward. And I don't think I don't think he planned that. I don't think he planned that at all. I think that they had like a real friendship. You know, I, I 
was on a three way call when a lot of issues were going on, hearing what people had to say. And I really think that Doves uh, believe Gunner and that their friendship was solid. But there comes a time when you got to think about yourself, especially when this is how you make your fucking source of income, man. You don't drag down the next man just because they're trying to make a living. Like I said, the overall conclusion was this. I didn't see anything different happening than what happened. You know, if you look at the whole fucking last three years, look at all the different relationships he's severed and people that have pushed away from him. You know, that's something that a person needs to reflect on themselves and what they did. You know, that's just my personal opinion. Like I said, man, I didn't really want to do this topic, but I put it out there, man. Fucking the first five topics that were put out there on my thread, I was going to do a video on them. This is number two. With that said, your boy Flacco, I'm gone.